I've got an edited video clip on the timeline that I'm wanting to personalize so that uh, if I release this clip, people will know where it came from. If you're out there producing um, some high quality content and some training on something, if you make it available on the internet, chances are people are going to distribute it. And you want to be able to at least get the credit for that. You want people to know where that video is coming from. To do that, we use what's called a watermark. And a watermark is an image that's going to appear faintly on the video, and it'll appear during the entire sequence of the video. Now, in order to demonstrate this functionality, I'm going to have to produce our clip. And that's something that we haven't talked about just yet. So we're not going to deal with all the individual steps that are involved in producing a clip. All we're going to deal with is specifically the watermark issue. Now, first thing that you have to do is create the graphic for the watermark. And you're going to have to use an image editing application for that. I recommend that you use a black and white clip. You might want to do maybe your logo or a website address or anything like that. But let's go ahead and first produce our clip. And again, don't worry about the production part of this because we're going to deal with that later on. But we're going to produce the clip. I'm going to do a custom setting right now. And due to our screen resolution size, you're not going to be able to see uh, the next buttons. In fact, I can't even see them. So I've just got to hit Enter. And only because I know that it's there, that's why I'm able to do it. Uh, we're going to do an AVI. And then I'm going to leave all these settings to what they are, except I'm going to change my audio format to 16-bit, uh, 44, 16-bit mono. Again, this is stuff that we'll talk about later on. And next, we'll leave all this like it is and hit next again. And now here's where we do the watermark. Uh, I'm going to click Include Watermark first. And then we have to go to Options. And we have to locate... Uh, where the watermark is, where that graphic file that we're going to use for the watermark is. Let's click and drag this over here. And this is kind of like a preview of what's going on. This is the default watermark image that Camtasia provides. But let's click the little open folder button here. And on my desktop, I've got a file called watermark. We'll click open. And now notice, you can't really tell what it is. That's because some of the effects are turned on for embossing the watermark. And depending on your logo or whatever text you use there, that effect might work. Uh, then again, it might not. Also, you can adjust the depth uh, and play with these settings to see if it works with your specific watermark. Now, I'm going to turn it off. And you can see it very clearly now, the little graphic that shows up there. We can adjust the opacity make it a little more transparent. Sometimes that works really nice with videos. Uh, we can adjust the scale, make it larger or smaller. And we can select the position. Let's put it right here so you can see the whole thing. I can put it in the upper left hand corner, upper right hand, in the middle. Wherever I want to put that watermark, that's where I can put it. And we'll leave it in the lower right hand corner for right now. Now we've also got the vertical and horizontal offset. Notice the distance between the watermark and the edge of the screen here, both horizontally and vertically. You can customize that. So you can get it pretty much exactly where you want it. Okay, let's go ahead and hit OK. And we'll just go ahead and do next. And next again. Again, I'm hitting the enter key just because I know that it's there. Unfortunately, we're not able to actually see it because the screen is not large enough. Now I'm going to deselect this option, but that's all I'm going to do. And we'll go ahead and produce our clip. Camtasia is going to render it. It's a pretty short clip, so it'll render fairly quickly. And the reason that I'm going to do this is just because I want you to see what it looks like once we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward now to the end of the render process. Okay, we're just about done. And now we're going to get a little preview. Importing a video into Camtasia. 
let me stop this and I'm gonna go to full screen mode okay now what you're looking at right now is the video that we just produced it's not my actual desktop even though that's what it looks like but it's the video that we just produced and in the lower right hand corner we've got our watermarked image and you can tell I made that somewhat transparent okay so let's go ahead and play the video importing a video into Camtasia is very easy right click okay so you see how that stays in the same location it's not affected by what's going on in the video and then to get out of full screen mode you can right click on the video and deselect full screen or you can also hit the escape key and we'll close the preview and that is a watermark